Welcome to today's webinar. Thanks for joining. My name is Niam. I'm part of the customer success team. And today I'm going to show you something about the new features um, and specific more um, it's about the container features. So for that, I already created this project. Um, I haven't imported some data yet. Uh, so I let me just create a, a new collection. I will do this for English. Okay, I have prepared one example data. This is very small, but it's good enough for this webinar. So yeah, I just prepared some example data about hotels. So um, I will start with a few statements about a hotel description and I just upload it. Okay, yeah. Here you can see the usual JSON key value structure on the left side, you can see the attributes and on the right side, the values for this one hotel. Okay, so um, this one feature I want, I want to show you uh, is still not published for all projects. So you have to activate it here in the project settings. You can go to the future previews. There you see a, a short explanation of this beta feature. And on the, here on the top, you can activate it. The thing you have to keep in mind is once you activate it, it cannot be disabled. So you cannot deactivate it here anymore. This is one thing you should have to um, note. Okay, so the feature is activated. I just uploaded the data and now we can go to the composer. So um, there's nothing in the transform yet. I will start with the right part. And here you can already see the difference to the previous version. On the left side, you can see the suggested variables. So you can see all the attributes and the values that you can use in the text. Um, they are all based on this one selected test object. So you can see here already what you can use in the text. So let's just start with the first statement. I prepared a few. So we'll just copy paste it here. Okay. Good. So I'm using if, uh, the example values based on this test object. So it can check where this value comes from, which variable should be created. And yeah, what you can see here are the suggested containers. Um, it, for the first container, you can see here, it consists of a determiner, the definite one, you can see it here, and the noun, which is the variable name. And you can see, also see here that it's a new node, so it's not created yet. But you can use this suggestion, create this container. Then you can see, yeah, the splitting here on the right side on the menu. Again, the determiner, which is definite, and the value for name as noun. And on the left side, you can see here on top, now we have this one variable that is used in contrast to these ones that are, yeah, grayish that are not used yet, but they can be used. So if we go to transform now, you also can see this construction of data node plus variable that has been also created automatically. So you just have to write the statement here in the, yeah, in the right section and the data nodes plus variables are created automatically once you use this suggestion. Okay, let's go, let's continue. Um, here we have, again, um, a container suggestion. We have a preposition of, and noun is here wellness hotel, where uh, wellness is the value from the attribute type. So you can see it here as well, it's type, the value with wellness as output. So we also create this one. 
Mm, what you could also see here is that the terminal is indefinite, but we cannot see it here yet. So um, this is also the, the warning here on the bottom that the determiner was omitted because we don't have wellness hotel, this composition as um, a noun in our lexicon. So one option would be to add wellness hotel to the lexicon here, or you can edit this noun and say which part is the head noun. So which part should be looked up in the lexicon, which is hotel in this case. And as we have hotel in the lexicon, you can also see here now the determiner A of A wellness hotel, which is indefinite, correct. Good. So the next part here, yeah, this is much simpler. It's just the proposition in plus the variable for city. So we also take this one. And if we go to transform here now again, these two, uh, data node and the variables are created that we can also see here on the left side on the top. So what we have seen here so far, uh, we get the containers as suggestion um, and using the right variables with the right settings as determiner, proposition and yeah, the right values. Okay, what we can see here is offers the verb. Um, it is in this suggestion, so it, you can see here it's not something that comes from the data. So it's a verb container. We can also create this one. Um, so the lemma, the general form is offer. And this, uh, it copies the grammar from subject. So we can see here. This container has the role subject and the verb inflects as, so it copies the grammar. If this is singular, this one is also third person singular. If this is plural, it will change to offer as they offer. So this one will always change automatically depending on this value, which is subject the role. And here it says, Copy grammar from role, which is subject here. You can also change the tense. So you could switch to, for example, past if you wanted to. But for, not, for our use case, it's the present version that we need. OK, so it's not also just um, containers that come from the data. You can also have verb containers that inflect depending on the data or on other co uh, containers. Okay, let's continue with the next statement. So we again have here some suggestions. So let's start with the first one, the 4.5 star rating, where 4.5 is as well again, value from the data, which is category recommended rating. Let's check where this is, oh, yeah, here. Okay, and you can also see here again, determiner is definite, capitalized, and yeah, 4.5 star rating is the, the noun. So we just create this, everything's correctly defined, good. Here we have, again have some parts that could also, where we could also create containers, but we don't need them um, as they wouldn't change depending on the data. So it's always a hotel. If the should could be different, then you, I would definitely recommend to create a container. Otherwise you can also leave it now. So it's also, yeah, just text. Same for the verb as it's always depending on this hotel. Good, so um, here we have a, yeah, also a construction um, as I have no adjectives in the data. So like color uh, or any other values that could be adjectives. Um, I will use this one to create a container. So 
you can also still create containers on your own. So we want to say that stay is the, is the noun. Um, wonderful should be the adjective. So you can split it up on your own and select indefinite as a determiner. Again, we have a missing lexicon entry for stay. So we, I will just create it quickly for this one. It's now lemma stay. I'm saving now for now. I still can edit it if I want to make some changes. Okay, now we have stay in the lexicon. Let me just refresh it. Can take a bit longer to check. Switch to indefinite. Okay, it's not activated yet. Um, what I actually wanted to show you is that you could also create here um, branches or containers, what we have seen here for 4.5, 4 um, the rating. You could also have here branches, same for the adjective. So just create, you could um, trigger them. Okay, now we can see here, lexicon entry has been activated. A is set as determiner indefinite um, so you could um, add here some more yeah, branches and trigger them on some um, conditions for example um, depending on the 4.5 star rating if it's um, greater than four lower than below than three or something like that and let me just add another um, branch overall nice and what you can see here is the determiner here as well here it changes so it it um we, for now we are using overall nice then it changes to m same for if we create a container here uh, and have a value from the data like the color as an example an, an orange or a blue so far, or something like that. So it also changes the determiner depending on the adjective. Good. There's just one last statement left. Showing you the last piece. Okay, so good. So what we have seen so far, we have the noun, we have the determiner, um, yeah, the verb construction, um, preposition, and the adjective. So preposition, determiner, adjective, and noun has been shown here in the examples above. And now here we have a number. Uh, either you could just create a yeah, a phrase for just the number, building information, total number, and also create a container for rooms. Here again, you could use, um, yeah, we will just use this room and say, for example, this one has the role num. You could also change the wording, but okay, I would just keep it. And we can say again, uh, as we use this for the verbs, the noun should again um, copy the grammar from the other container from the role num. So you have two containers, the noun container, um, the phrase, this phrase container is copying the grammar from this one. 
This can be used this way, but we also have the other option. You maybe already have seen it. I would just copy this part. Okay, and I will create one container for both values. So we have room as uh, as noun here as noun lemma, and we select in the numeral part in the numeral field. Here we can also select the numeral variable. In this case, it's the building information, and there we have also several types. So it can be cardinal. You can see here, um, not as digits but the, the word, word. Um, the ordinal could be also selected. There are some use cases where you would want to have the ordinal or you just select to take the cardinal as digit. So we also have this option to, to have this within one container. Rooms is of course also changing depending on the number rule. If it's just one room, it won't be room. And if there are more than one changes to plural form. Good. So yeah, we have seen all the different options to um, create uh, these containers with the different the several fields. Um, the good thing is you just can start with writing the statements. You don't have to worry about the data nodes. So you don't have to switch to the analyze, select and create the data node and attach variable. This happens automatically once you decide to use the, um, the value. You could also create or copy it here. And then it's also created automatically. So the country you can see here as well. So either you, you just select them drink, uh, by a drag and drop or you just write down the, uh, the statement, the sentences, and it makes use uh, suggestions to use the correct variables. All right, that's it from my side. I hope it <laughs> helped you a lot. Um, if you should have any questions, just let us know. We have the support ch chat here on top. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining this webinar. Hope to talk to you soon and have a nice day. Bye.